We are now going to, re going to review the systems with suction on. If you note in the ocean, there is gentle bubbling in the A chamber. This is what we want to see. When you're assessing your patient, you want to briefly clamp your suction to assess if you're at the prescribed level of suction. As you can see, we're slightly above 20 of suction. If you need to adjust this level, you would want to take a needle and a syringe and clean the port. Then you're going to access it and withdraw until your fluid level reaches the prescribed level. If your, if your water chamber is below the level of suction, then you would want to add water to the top as you did in the previous setup. For your dry suction, assessing the level of suction is much more simple. It's also much easier to adjust. Um, you want to double check and make sure your bellows is expanded to the arrow. Um, if it is not, you would simply increase your wall suction. If you need to adjust the level of prescribed suction, you would access the dial on the side to adjust. In the B chamber, you're going to expect to see fluctuations with respiration. Um, for your non-ventilated patients, you're going to note inspiration at the highest point and then lowest point with expiration. This will be reversed with your patients on the ventilator due to positive pressure ventilation. For your, um, we're now going to demonstrate what you would be looking for um, in the event of an air leak. If you watch the C chamber, you should see, you might have slight bubbling, but you shouldn't see much. If you have an air leak, you're going to start seeing bubbling along the gradient. So you'll see from the one to the five, um, especially if you note rapid or significant bubbling, this might indicate that your chest tube has completely come out. Was that? 